for all the aforesaid reasons. Mahapu rejected that as external. So then Sri Ramananda Roy quoted one verse from Gita. Yad korosi yad asna si yad johosi dadasi yad yad tapasa si kunta yad 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 korosa mad arpanam. Krishna says to Arjuna, Hey Arjuna, yad korosi, whatever you do, yad asna si, whatever you eat, whatever austerities you perform, anything you do, do as an offering to me. So this is from Bhagavad Gita, and how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu can reject it, so you can understand how high are the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. <clears throat> This is called karma arpanam, or you can also say like karma misra bhakti. Because first, that is that person, he is enjoying all those. He has desire to enjoy all those things, for example. And then, as to purify that thing, then he offers that to Vishnu. But first, his desire is first. Therefore, it's called karma misra bhakti. It's one type of bhakti, but it's mixed with your own karma, your own desires. For example. Guru Maharaj one time said, there is one devotee, <clears throat> he is thinking, I will make a garden, I'm going to grow eggplants and vegetables and potatoes, then I'll take them from the garden, then I'll cut them up, then I'll cook an offering, then I'll give to Bhagawan. So this seems all right, but Guru Maharaj says, if you do this, you'll waste millions and millions of years. Because you are offering everything to Bhagawan, but you have not, not offered yourself. Therefore, this is one type of Karamishra Bhakti. <clears throat> like... See Bali, Mahar Bali Maharaj, he offered a donation to Bhagavan Bhaman. So Sri Bhaman Dev said, okay, I just want three steps of land. So he made a promise. With the first step of land, Bhagavan Bhaman Dev took to the topmost planet. The second planet, the second step, he took to the bottom planet. Then Bali Maharaj, he realized, oh, I'm so foolish. I've given everything to Bhagavan, but I've not given myself to Bhagavan. I have not performed Sarup Siddha Bhakti. Only I'm performing some type of Aropsita Bhakti. If I've given the whole universe, but I've not given myself, then pure intelligence came. He said, oh, yes, put your foot upon my head. I completely offer myself. I perform Sarupsita Bhakti. So that is the difference. But therefore, Mahapu also rejected these things. Because the devotee, for example, he thinks, I like pizza, but does Bhagawan like pizza? I don't care. I like pizza. I'm cooking pizza. I'm offering to Bhagawan. And after Bhagawan eats it or not, I don't care. But I'll take that thing. Therefore, this one type of karma mishra bhakti. Therefore, all these things, because the devotee's first consideration is his own enjoyment. But anyhow, at least he's giving something to Bhagawan at the end of it. Therefore, it's a little okay, a little mixed with bhakti. But because it's not pure bhakti, Mahapuru rejected. Jaksuran Militam Jena Tasmai Sri Gurave Maha. One other uh, interesting reason why Sri Chaitanya is rejecting uh, Ramananda Roy's suggestions. Of course, we should understand, Gurudev asked the question, why Ramananda Roy knows so many transcendental things, why he's starting here at the very first beginning steps and then working his way up. Like the Briyad Bhagavatamrita, we can see by the different gradations of devotees how glorious the gopis are, by comparison. It's not, not very easy to understand something if we don't have something to compare it next to. Let's say, for example, we say, oh look, like Dr. Tamal Krishna, he used to be like a great uh, wrestler. You can see his big body and he was a great wrestler. So we could say, oh, he could, he could defeat 15 men in the arena. And we think, oh, that's very impressive. But then if we actually see Dr. Tamal Krishna take on 15 big brahmacharis and put them all down on the ground, then we think, whoa, that's pretty impressive. So by comparison, we see actually how strong he is. So by comparison, we're going to be led up through all these different stages. So then when we get to the real sadhya, then we will understand how glorious and great and uh, it is, and what a, what a job we had to ha have ahead of us. Because actually these two, actually first four verses that uh, Ramananda Roy gives as evidence, uh, Lord Chaitanya rejects them. Then the next three says, well, they're okay, but keep going. Then he gets to Srup on Abundi. Uh, he describes Dasha Ras in uh, the, the mood of servitorship, the Supreme Lord. But Lord Chaitanya still 